É. Hmm. There's my lead at stands. Oh. All right, guys. Shh. Let's begin. It's 100 meters in total, okay? So that's y and that's x. So what I'm saying is x plus x plus y plus y has to equal 100 meters. Everybody cool with that? Therefore, 2y must equal 100 to take away 2x. Are we on board so far? What's the area? Area is length multiplied by width. What is the length and the width in this case? x and y or x and 100 minus 2x so it's going to be x the length 100 minus 2x is the width yes oh sorry oh sorry sorry my bad thanks uh sorry i had 2y not y so y is uh, divided by 2 and you have 50 minus x so that's my fault so that's 50 minus x and this here is 50 perfect thanks for that uh, 50x minus x squared good now what type of function is this if I was to draw that out it's n shaped and what do n shapes usually have they have a max, don't they? Now, it says get the maximum. It doesn't say you have to prove it, does it? So the turning point will be a maximum. At the the slope will be zero at the max. Okay. So what we do is we say the ADX is uh, 50 minus 2x. Yeah. And that equals zero. 50 equals 2x. X equals 25. Now, we can be slightly sneaky here. You can sub in the 25 back into the original form, like, can't you? So you get 50 times 25 minus. So what did you get for that, Lucian? 625 meters. All right, that's the correct answer. Any questions? Wasn't too bad, was it? Still worth doing though, you're not used to them. So pretty close, okay? You got it, Carl? Alright. Alright, let's move on. Five, yeah? Now. Alright. Shh. Has a volume of 108. Okay? So if it has a volume of 108, volume is length by width by height. In this case, it's going to be x times x times h, which is x squared h. x squared of h equals 108. This means h on its own is 108 divided by x squared. Everybody happy with 108 over x squared for h? Now, surface area. Okay? Now, because the length and the width are the same, how many faces are exactly the same area? Anybody? One, two, three, and four. All four of them have the same area, don't they? Do you agree with that? What is the area? It's length by it's it's length by height, which is everybody agree it's hx for each one. So how many hxs do we have? We have four hx, four rectangles of the same area. Now all we need to worry about is the top and the bottom area. Now, what's the top and the bottom? Top and the bottom are x by x, and the four, there's two of these, and there's four of, there's four of them, isn't there? So it's four hx plus x squared. Would everybody be happy that's the surface area? Everybody happy that S equals 4HX plus X squared? What's the difference between my answer and their answer? 
I need to get rid of the H. So how do I get rid of the H? Four times 108 over X squared times X plus X squared. And I'm pretty sure four times 108 is 432 over X plus. Same thing, aren't they? That is the same thing as that. They're the same. Find the dimensions of the tank if the surface is to be a minimum. It's a minimum, okay? So, uh, this case, I'll probably prove it's a minimum, but we'll, we'll see now. Uh, we don't like the chain rule, uh, so we don't like the quotient rule too much, so I'm going to change that to. You good at that? Now, when I differentiate it once, we're expecting this slope to have a minimum. And we need to find out where the slope is zero. So what do we do here? We differentiate. Now, Carl, what do we get when we differentiate this? X minus 2. This one? Yeah. Equals 0. Bring that over the other side. And we get 2x equals uh, 4, 3, 2, x minus 2. Okay. What do we do with the x minus 2, Carl? 4, 3, 2, x squared. Yeah, no butter. What can I do with the x squared then? Division on the right means multiplication on the left. What's 2x times x squared? Okay. And then divide that with 2, and what do we get? 216. Cube root 216, and what you get? Huh? Yeah. You could have also done 216 to the power of a third, and it'll do the same thing. Okay. Everybody happy with six? How do I determine if it's a maximum or a minimum? Here's the first derivative. Everybody happy that's the first derivative? What do I need to do with it? Differentiate it one more time. And Charlie, what happens when you differentiate that? Uh, Multiply the minus 432 by minus 2, so you get 864, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And what happens when you sub in 6? Throw it into the calculator there. I think the answer is A. Yep, the whole thing. What? Ah, no one. <laughs> that was a little. So the answer is 6. 6 is bigger than 0, which makes it A. Man. We kill. Any questions? No. Yes? Uh, it wasn't obvious that it was a U-shaper because of that part there. So in that case, I, I would have proved it. All right, so what did we do? We did 5, 3, 5, and now we're on to 7. All right. I think you're probably getting the gist now, are you? All right. Okie dokie. Uh, where is my parallel run? Yeah. Hey. Hi. There's your terrible box. I'll fix it in a second. Yeah, it's well off, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Now, close rectangular box has a square base, so that's your x and your x. You feel with that? And it has a height h. Now, like the last question, how many hx's do we have? 
the front is hx the, the right is hx the back is hx and the left is hx so how many hx's do we have four hx what about the top part x by x which is x squared and the bottom x squared and that equals 54 express h in terms of x no bother 4hx is equal to 54 minus 2x squared. X on its sorry, h on its own is 54 minus 2x squared divided by 4x. Did anybody divide top and bottom by 2 to get 27 minus x squared all over 2x? Yeah, that should work out the same. I just take, I just work out the individual area of each side and add them all together. Look, that's the same there. <coughs> now, uh, you gotta find the volume. So, how do you find the volume formula? What's the volume? Length by width by height, which is x times x times h, but we don't want h, so it's gonna be x. Sorry, it's gonna be uh, x squared times. 27 minus x squared all over. And then what you do after that? The x's are going, well, one of the x's is going to cancel. And then we're going to be left with 27x minus x cubed all over 2. I'm going to have to differentiate that in a second, haven't I? So I'm going to alter it to 27 over 2x minus a half x cubed. That makes it a bit more easier to differentiate, okay? So, uh, Dara, how do you differentiate this? So, just drop the x. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Right, we gotta solve this, okay? So if you want you can give it a common denominator or two. Okay. And then what we're gonna figure out is that uh, twenty seven equals three x squared, nine equals x squared, x equals plus or minus three. Is x allowed to be minus 3? Why not? It's a length, so x has to equal 3. And since there's only one answer, you're looking at a maximum. Okay, now, if I wanted to really quickly, what I just do is, it doesn't really cost me much just to have a quick look at this. Differentiate that a second time, and what you get? Only takes a second. Yeah, multiply with two, so just minus three x, and then minus three times three. Nine, which is smaller than zero, which is a definitely a max. So want the actual volume, does it? Wants the volume, does it? All right. So what can you do? Pull it back into the original volume formula. So it's going to be 27 times 3 minus 3 cubed over 2. What's the answer? Anybody who has it? No? 27, thanks. All right, any questions? So, when you have a cylinder like so, See how accurate I get this one. All right. And, uh, all right. And if you draw the net of this, which some of you are familiar with, the net of it is this, isn't it? Two circles and a. Do that. Control V. All right. That's the net. 
that's a two-dimensional picture of the of a cylinder. Is that right? Now, the reason why you get two pi r squared and two pi r h is the following. That's a pi r squared, that's a pi r squared, and this here is two pi r h. Now, for those of you who don't remember, when you do a circle, when you do the, do the outside circle of a you do the outside circle, the length is two pi. Or does that make sense? The height is h. But this outer red line has to be the same as that red line there, otherwise it doesn't. It doesn't close or match up, okay? Now, volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So what I was doing there is I was just explaining how did you get that form, okay? So I don't actually need that anymore. All right, next thing. Uh, we're going to get this formula for surface area. And you're going to get 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h equals 24 pi. Divide both sides by 2 pi. And you're left with r squared plus r h equals 12. Uh, isolate h. So r h equals 12 minus r squared, and then h is equal to, I'm going to do it like this, 12 minus r, and then what's r squared over r? Actually, do you know what, we'll do the quotient rule, it's been a while, we'll do the quotient rule for once, okay? I probably don't even remember how at this stage, I've been avoiding it that much recently, okay? Everybody cool with that? All right. Now, some of you might have it like this, 12r minus 1 minus r. Some of you might differentiate it that way. That's okay. I'm personally a fan of using the chain rule. It's generally quicker to get the second derivative than the first derivative, isn't it? But for argument's sake, we'll use the, we'll use the uh, quotient rule. Okay. So how do you do the quotient rule again? Uh, sorry, actually, we're not at that stage yet. I have to do this, don't I? So what's next? Pi r squared times 12 minus r squared over r. Oh, that's going to get rid of the problem, actually. Never mind, we don't have to do the quotient rule at all. Uh, what a shame. That cancels with that. And what are we going to be left with? 12 pi r minus r cubed. Anybody get that far? I'm going to pause it. Does anybody have any questions for me? Works on a different level, he does. All right. Pi r times r is a uh, pi r cubed. Cool with that? All right. Now, it has to be a maximum. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the first derivative. What's the first derivative? Please remember, r is the variable. Only r is the variable, so you only need to work on the r parts. You drop the r to get 12 pi, and then what you do there? 3 pi r squared, no bother, equals. All right, 12 pi equals 3 pi r squared, and there's only one answer here, isn't there? r squared equals 4, and r equals. It can't be negative 2 because of the radius. Now, uh, second derivative test, if you really feel inclined, is going to be 12 pi. Oh, sorry. It's going to be, get rid of 12 pi. Bring the 2 in front. Minus 6 pi r. And that's going to be negative because it's going to be minus 12 pi less than 0, which is a max. Okay. Uh, how do I find the... Uh, how do we find the volume? Put it back in, and what do we get? This formula here, isn't it? 12 pi times 2 minus pi times 2 cubed. 24 pi minus 8 pi is 16 pi centimeters. Who got that one out? All right, good job. 